Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Pabs here, back with another video. And first of all, look how beautiful my background is. If you haven't figured out already, I'm a huge Dragon Ball nerd. Um, and today we're going to be going over a topic that is related to Rocket League in a way, but more so an overall stream settings guide. Um, Rocket League is a very hard game to stream slash record no matter how good your settings are no matter how good your pc is it's probably still gonna look a bit grainy but i do notice a lot of streamers um have really grainy streams when it could be a lot better so it's probably their settings that are holding them back from having a better looking stream but again perfect is pretty much impossible with rocket league um so i'm gonna go over my settings which i feel like are pretty good um, I would say my stream quality is average to above average. By no means is it the best, but I would say it's somewhere in that range of being good. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go into it. Um, and this is again more for rock more than for just Rocket League, but um, specifically since I'm a, mostly a Rocket League streamer, it's gonna help. And ignore the fact that it's gonna go infinite um, here um let's go over the settings so go here and i'll just go over everything i have general there's nothing really to see here it, nothing to do with stream really this is just for um general messing things up over here but yeah so stream oh you don't got to see that that's just uh streaming to my channel but here on output this has some very important settings that you need to uh Correct, I guess you can say. Um, and uh, you're in oh yeah, first your encoder. This is important. Um, you want to make sure you're encoding with x264 or times 264. That means you're using your processor to encode. Um, I can't show you the options, but sometimes people will be using um, the other setting to do with their graphics card, but no, you want to make sure you're using your processor. So make sure you're using times 264. Um, and you want to make sure you have this clicked in for streaming service encoder settings. Um, and for me, I stream 900p, so it's 1600 by 1900. Um, I believe streaming 900p is uh, better for your PC than 1080p because it looks pretty much the same and it's easier on your PC. So I would recommend doing that, especially if you're having trouble streaming at 1080p. Um, and you wanna make sure you have CBR and the highest bit rate allowed on Twitch is 6K. Um, I have really good internet. I have a gig up and down, so I'm able to use the highest possible. But if you're having trouble with your stream and it's lagging, I would suggest putting that more in the 3K to 4K range. Um, my keyframe interval is one. My CPU usage preset is very fast. And I feel like very fast is the best middle ground for good quality and not being too hard on your PC. Some people can go higher if they have a really good PC, but I think if you have like an average-ish PC, which I do, um, that would be the optimal settings. And speaking of that, I'll just uh, say my specs real quick, just so you guys have an idea what I'm working with. Um, I have an i7 8700, a GTX 1070, and 16 gigs of RAM. So I would say about, that's like an average-ish PC nowadays. Um, yeah, profile, main, tune, leave that whatever none, and leave that empty. But yeah, make sure you put your profile to main. I'm not sure if that's the default. Um, my recording settings, which I'm using right now, are... Uh, I have a 3500 bit rate, but this is mostly for streaming, but I'll leave those settings there for a second so you guys can see what I use. My recordings are okay. Um, it's like a bit better quality than my stream, I suppose. Um, and I believe you want to have your audio output to 160. Replay buffer, I've never even looked at that. Um, these are my audio settings. I just use the uh, my HyperX headphones for my output and then my mic is my blue yeti which you can see there um and these are my video settings i obviously have it to 1080p that's what my monitor is um and 
the downscale filter. Again, bicubic is a really good middle ground. If you have a better PC, I would set it higher, but bicubic is good quality plus not being too hard on your PC. <clears throat> and also, obviously, I stream at 60 FPS. Um, here I have some hotkeys set up for my start recording and stop recording. Um, to switch scenes, I have some down there too. Um, advanced settings, I don't believe I messed with any of these. I believe all of this is default. Um, I don't have a stream delay or anything like that. Oh, I do have this. Um, the process priority, I set it to above normal, so it kind of puts my Streamlabs OBS um, <clears throat> above other processes. Also, yeah, I use Streamlabs OBS, as you could probably tell by now. And yeah, so those are all my stream settings. Um, I've been streaming slash content creating for a while, and I've watched a lot of videos, a lot of settings uh, that I've messed with over time, and I feel like I found a pretty good um, setup slash settings. So if you want to try mine out and let me know how it goes for you, uh, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, I believe this should get your stream looking pretty good. Um, Obviously, it depends on a computer. It's a computer basis plus your internet. That is also a factor. But for me, that is what works. And oh, also, also, before I go, before I go, something else to help your PC out even more to drop your CPU usage when you stream is do this performance mode. And um, as you can see, it does this. It takes out that preview you saw on the screen and it drops your CPU usage a bit, which does help the stream slash recording out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any other questions, I will answer in the comments. I answer like every single one of my comments, as you guys can tell. And yeah, hopefully this helped out at least one person because I did get a comment today asking about this. So I figured why not make a video on it? Anyways, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Drop a like and sub if you want. You don't have to. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.